All right, we're going to look at a new section today. It's 4.3. It's called Properties of Logarithms. Uh, we're going to learn how to use the product rule, use the quotient rule, use the power rule, expand the logarithmic expressions, and condense logarithmic expressions. Also use the change of base property. Now again, we're still kind of messing around with our tools. We're still trying to learn how to use them. In the next section, we'll basically get into how to uh, solve equations and use these to basically compute answers. So the first thing we're going to talk about is the product rule. And in the product rule, uh, what it basically means is if you're taking the log of a product, in this case MN, you can break that up into the log base B of one term, log base B of another, and as long as they're both in the numerator, the coefficient's going to be positive. So kind of keep that in mind if you're taking the product of two things, you can add the logarithms together. And this actually gonna, is going to go both ways because what we're going to do is we're going to also learn how to condense logarithms. So when we talk about expanding and condensing logarithms a little bit later on in our section, we're going to use this rule to be able to do that. So we'll look at a couple examples and see if we can't learn how to use the product rule. Okay, uh, in the first one we have log base 4 of 7 times 5. So since we are taking the log of two things that are being multiplied together, we can break it up. Alright, so uh, since both of these are located in the numerator, the 7 and the 5, then both of, both of them will have a positive coefficient. Now if you notice uh, the connection between uh, what we studied in the past exponents, that if something's in the numerator that has a positive exponent, something in the denominator will have a negative exponent. So if you can kind of make that connection, then uh, it'll help you in the long run. In the next one we have the log of 10 to the x power. Now remember there is no base written on our logarithm so the assumption is it's a base of 10. So what we'll do is we'll say uh, since both of these 10 and x are in the numerator we'll say the log of 10 and then plus the log of x. Now anytime we can simplify these we would and uh, log of 10 is actually something that we know. So it's 10 to some power will give us 10 so that will simplify down to 1. So the correct simplified form for this logarithm would be 1 plus log of x.